it's time for a side job. Alrighty, before I get started in the rest of my house, I'm going to be here at someone else's house and what we're going to be creating is a tile mural. Okay, and this man likes his tiki men. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing above the stove here is a tiki tile mural. And to get started, well, I got started beforehand because I really didn't know I was going to be doing this for you. So what I did is I drew them out, okay? So you can see that we've got the Tiki Man on the wall. Now all you have to do is get yourself a piece of tracing paper and you're going to end up with something like this. Now let's transfer this to the concrete board. Fabulous. Okay, so we've got it taped down. So now, woo, just going to take our pencil and let's just trace it out. Press really hard, okay, so it transfers the image onto our hardy backboard. Alrighty, so we've got that going, so now let's cut it out. So now what we're gonna do is cut out what I've drawn on the wall on the drywall, okay? Ooh, looks like we've got two pieces of drywall going on in here. Oh, darn, I actually, I, there are some power tools that I could think of that would help me just whip out this top layer real easily. Alrighty, but since I don't have those, I'm going to be using my handy little hand saw. Alrighty, and there's nothing behind this wall that I want to be cutting except the drywall. I know this. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is just cut down the sides and then we're going to slice across the top and the bottom, well not all the way through, and then we're just going to pull it out. Okay. We have an issue here. <laughs> the microwave decided to stop working. Okay. It happened while we were hammering. Alrighty, so I didn't really, of course, didn't cut anything because we got the power cord coming up here and there was a stud there and I didn't even go on that side of the power cord, so I'm assuming that, well, I really don't know why the microwave stopped, so we've got to get it out, okay? <laughs> And this is one of those odd times where there's no upper cabinet that's holding the microwave up. That means it's been drywalled into this wall. Oh my god. <sighs> so we're going to have to demolition this. Okay, and get in there so we can get the bolts and undo this microwave and find out what our problem is. Alrighty, so let's get to it. Okay. came out of the outlet. <laughs> Woo, that was interesting. <laughs> I know that the, I, I was sitting here thinking, I know the owner thinks that I cut the Romex, but I didn't. <laughs> Woo, I knew it. So this is what we call a happy accident, because you know what? <laughs> Come on. This microwave box, it really extends way too far from the wall, so that means when we're at the stove doing our little cooking, <laughs> boom, we can bang our head. Okay, and that, that's just kind of annoying, isn't it? In fact, this guy says he's been annoyed by this ever since um, I met him. So actually what we're going to do now is cut this box off, woo, right here, you know, behind here, and then we've got, ooh, uh, six or seven inches that we can actually shove this box back. Alrighty, and that way when we're cooking at the stove, we're not going to be banging our head. I like that. <laughs> woo, let's do it.
you've got the cabinet in and that's fabulous. That wasn't so hard. Okay, perfect. So now we can stick our concrete board into the wall and glue it and screw it. Woo, let's do it. So now before we actually apply the tile to the cement board. Okay, what we're gonna do is, well, there's <laughs> two issues here. Okay, one is that he wants the lips to be dimensional. Alrighty, so they're gonna be, it's gonna be like a relief now. <laughs> actually never done this before, but I'm kind of excited. So what we're going to do is we're going to build up the lips, and then I was thinking, oh, <laughs> we've got this nose right on top of the lips. I love it in the drawing, but it's not working for me in the tile aspect, okay? So what we're going to do is raise up that nose a little bit, okay? And we're also going to make the nose dimensional. So we're going to have dimensional nose and dimensional lips. I love it. Oh, perfect. So now we've just got a little pattern to follow. Now, to make it dimensional, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to mix up either a little concrete. Well, I happen to have some grout with me, so I'm going to use that. It's pretty <laughs> similar stuff. Okay, so we're just going to put in just a little bit of water, and then let's just stir it up. All righty. Um, now, before we actually apply the cement or the grout to the lips and the nose, we're going to have to wet the surface because we want to work wet on the wet. Now what we need to do is cut our glass pieces and we're going to be using a tile pliers. Alrighty, and then we're going to make up a whole bunch of colors and line them up. Alrighty, and then we're going to kind of organize it a little bit on a board before we actually stick it up so we kind of know what we're doing. Alright, get a little game plan as we go along. Alrighty, so what I'd like to do is use ceramic tile adhesive. And what we're going to do is just kind of frost our glass. So I've got a little piece of yellow and we're going to start with the skin and just kind of Butter the back of it, alrighty, and stick it on. Here we go. fabulous okay so I mixed it up like they said on the package and then what I like to do when I'm doing a mosaic take the grout and we're just gonna massage it in there <laughs> really get it in all those crevices and just rub it just rub it down nice and hard okay <laughs> Woo! and then when that sets up again what we're gonna be doing is pretty much just kind of rubbing it down again reapplying it and then we're going to add water to our sponge and we're going to sponge it down lightly. All right, and really massage that around, let it set up and do it again. I like to do this a few times, okay? <laughs> Perfect. All right, and then we're going to want to do is when it's almost set up, we're going to be wiping it and polishing it clean. Oh. <laughs> I'm not happy with this, all that work, and look at it. It's flattened out. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Looks like we're going to have to come up with a solution. Alrighty, and um, let's think about it. I've got it. <laughs> Alrighty, when in doubt, let's go back to the old painting. <laughs> this is a perfect trick, okay? What I'm going to do is take the little latex flat paint, and we're just going to paint the grout. 
all the way around the tea, okay? And it's okay if we get it on the tile, it's actually not a problem because we're just going to simply wipe it off. It can absorb into the tile. This is perfect. Okay, and not only that, it's going to act like a sealer, okay? We're going to seal the tile. We're going to seal the whole thing. This is just like an extra protection. I like it. Okay, now let's shift over to the eyes and let's make them a bloodshot. Keep going, see what happens. It's just kind of build. Let's do the lips too and take it from there. <laughs> Fabulous. As you can see, I got a little carried away with the painting. I mean, once you get me going, it's kind of hard to stop. And actually, it was working with this piece, so that's why I kept going. This is fabulous, okay? So we've got the mosaic above the stove, and the microwave is pushed back, so we're not going to be bumping our head when we're doing our cooking. I think this is just about perfect. All right. Um, I'd really love it if you'd uh, toss me a tip or something. It's just a simple tip for what I do. All right, um, because what I am is pretty much a one woman production company doing everything, all of it, and I'm doing it merely for the joy of it. But I can't keep this up without your support. I'm here asking you please for your help. Lots of things to do here, but I'm, I'm not going to take my time and effort into building this show around if I don't get your support, so I'm asking you for your help here. So what I've done to make this easy is I've teamed up with Patreon.com, and there's, you know, several silly bonuses there, and, uh, you know, there's a donate button on my website. So there's different options. So Barbara can put on her, woo, hard hat. Alrighty, and do the exciting things that she wants to do to this house. <laughs> and um, create a silly ass show for you that teaches you a few things.